Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about the Select tool. So the Select tool allows you to select things. That's pretty much, you know, let's, let's talk about how to select things. Let's hop in. Let's do it right now. Okay, so obviously with, with SketchUp for iPad, there's a couple ways we can use it. We can use the pencil. There's a couple modes for pencil. You can use it with touch or you can use it with mouse. So we're going to run through how to use each of those. First off, let's talk about how to get into the select tool. The select tool is not actually part of the default toolbar over here on the left side. You will have to hit the dot, dot, dot and pick select. So once you have select selected, you're in the select tool. So with the pencil, regardless of modes, if I come over here and I look, I have uh, just draw or click, move, click. It doesn't matter which mode I'm in, select functions the same. With select turned on, if you click on a surface, a face, it will highlight that face. It will also pop up a bunch of commands at the bottom of the toolbar that can be applied with selected geometry. Same with an edge. If I click on an edge, it will light up. You see the, the commands at the bottom changed. To do a group select with a pencil, I just click and drag and release. So again, just draw mode or click, move, click works the same. If I drag from my left side to my right side, I get a solid window. And only things that are completely within that window when I release are selected. If I go the other way, if I start on the right side and drag to the left, I get a dashed window. And when I release, anything that that dashed window crosses gets highlighted. That's the same for pencil or if I use my finger to do it. So I can click over here, drag, click over here, drag. An important note is if you're using your finger to do this, you do have to let it sit for just a second, otherwise you'll start orbiting. So if I click, hold, then drag, I can do that window select. Tapping outside of a selected section will turn it all off. This also, just note right now, this works the same with a mouse, so I can click, with a little dot on line, on edges or faces, drag one side to the other, drag backwards. Works exactly the same regardless of the tool. Now, one thing you may have noticed already is when I'm in select over here on the left side, I have these modifiers. So in here, if I select a face, I can come over to my modifier and hit add to selection. See how it lights up there? Now, every time I tap, I'm going to add to that selection. If I turn on minus, now every time I tap, I'll be removing from the selection. If I click plus minus, which it calls inverse, um, I can add or subtract with a single click. So clicking something that is not highlighted will add it to the selection. Clicking on something that's already highlighted will remove it from the selection. My fourth option down there is select none, and you guys probably already guess what that does. Clicking that will leave you in select, but turn everything else off. So those are all the ways I can think to use select. Obviously, the goal with, with the, whole, the whole program, SketchUp for iPad, is to make it as intuitive and quick and easy as possible. And tapping on something to select it, uh, just this is as simple as it gets. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. What do you think of SketchUp for iPad? What do you think of using Select? Do you prefer the pencil, finger, or mouse? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.